All right, guys, welcome to uh, week four of this week in Wolverine. Um, we have two games this week. Just kind of recap last week, um, everybody went two and two, uh, except for Kevin's in the basement at <laughs> one and three after uh, a terrible pick of picking Middle Tennessee State to win that game. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we all had Alabama, uh, who won convincingly, um, but we also picked – uh, Texas was uh, upset at home by TCU, and uh, Memphis won on the road and unfortunately dropped the decision to SMU um, due to a late fumble by uh, Brady White. Um, so this week, we'll be talking about two games. We have Alabama visiting Ole Miss, and we have the Red, uh, Red River rivalry uh, between Texas and Oklahoma. So we will start with Alabama and Ole Miss. Uh, Alabama's coming off a very impressive win uh, at home against Texas A&M. Uh, and Ole Miss is coming off an overtime win as well. We'll start with Maddie. Uh, we have Alabama and Ole Miss. Um, okay. I'm going to go with Alabama this week. Um, I, I don't know. I think that Alabama is just going to dominate in this game based on their current record this season, and they've also won the past four matchups in a row against Ole Miss. So I got to go with Alabama. So if Maddie is taking Alabama, uh, Sharan, what do you have this week with Alabama and Ole Miss? Mm, I would choose Alabama too. Uh, we can see in this season, Alabama keep the game at a really high level, and and they went again last week, took the lead, and went without any suspense. So since I can see since 2016, uh, Ole Miss has lost to Alabama for four years, even in 2017 and 2018. They lost the point is 56 to three and 52 to seven. I mean, that's really huge. I don't think they can win this year. All right, so we have two for Alabama. Kevin, can you redeem yourself this week uh, with some good picks? <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm going to spice it up a little bit. I'm going to go Ole Miss uh, for the win. Uh, I'm, a big, I'm a huge fan of Lane Kiffin. Uh, I, I've really followed him everywhere. Everywhere he's really went from the NFL to college. And I'm really hoping he can turn things around for Ole Miss. So I'm going to pull for Ole Miss this weekend, getting the win. I mean, Alabama's only 11-point favorite, so hopefully it'll be a close game and hopefully they can, they can pull it out in the end. Uh, Kevin seems to be confused. We're trying to get the picks right, <laughs> <laughs> but teach their own. Oriana, what do you have this week with Alabama Ole Miss? I'm gonna have to go Alabama. You can't go to go against um, Alabama and Nick Saban, so I, I'm gonna go at Alabama this week. It's, just go the opposite of Kevin. That's usually a good idea. <laughs> Great, Alabama Ole Miss. Uh, this week I got Alabama. But, you know, it's not even about, you know, this this game, to be honest with you. Um, even though Lane Kiffin was uh, Alabama offensive coordinator for three seasons, uh, I'm just really impressed with this wide receiver, though. This Jalen uh, Water averaging 21 yards of catch. And, like, he's lightning fast. Uh, no one can stop him one-on-one. -on -one. I mean, he's just tearing people apart. And uh, in the simple fact, Ole Miss having beat Alabama, they're 0-20 right now. So, I mean, I just don't see them getting away at all. Well, uh, for myself, I'm taking Alabama. Um, I had the luxury of being uh, working with Alabama football last weekend and being on the field at Brian Denny Stadium. And, you know, the first quarter with Texas A&M, it's 14-14, and I swear within uh, a flick of a light, uh, it was 35-14. Um, it just – it was air raid. You know, every time you looked up, it was an 80-yard bomb, 80-yard bomb, 80-yard bomb. Uh, third and 16, no big deal, 84-yard bomb. So, and that was against a much better defense than what Ole Miss is going to present. Uh, I I think this game is going to be over with by halftime. I think they're going to cover the spread by the end of the first quarter. Um, and then it's just going to be – it's just going to be a cakewalk. Ole Miss can't handle uh, Alabama's offense. Um, and Sport Robbery Man agrees with most of us um, <laughs> and, and is selecting Alabama as well. Um so the second game uh, is one of the oldest robberies in sport, um, Texas and Oklahoma, the Battle of the uh, Red River. Um, so we're going to start again. Maddie, we have Texas and Oklahoma. 
uh, both coming off losses, uh, upset losses last week. Um, so who, who redeems themselves this week in this matchup? Uh, this is a tough one. Honestly, I went back and forth a lot on who to pick. And honestly, I'm still not sure. I think I'm just going to go with Texas. They're ranked. Um, Oklahoma's not. And that's all that I have going off. So Texas is week for me. Odd decision. Uh, Sharin, Texas and Oklahoma, what is your pick? Mm, I would say Oklahoma probably. Uh, I think this is a very exciting sporting event for this week. And they have a historical conflict of Red River shutdown between the two teams. And both teams are very capable um, players. But since last week's game, I, I just really disappointed about Texas. The Texas defense is from really have problems. Um, another point is I think Rattler, uh, Rattler is doing a great job with the passing attack. So I think if uh, Akama performs well on offense, I think they will win the game. Thank you. Kevin, uh, what do you got this week in Texas, Oklahoma? So everybody knows uh, I'm going to go Texas with this one. Uh, I mean, Texas, uh, they're averaging 518 yards a game, and they they got a nation leading 51 points per game. And uh, I feel like they'll uh, roll on through Oklahoma. I'm going to go Texas for the win. Uh, Oriana, what do you have this week? I got to go with Texas again. That's the home <laughs> team. Um, they actually lead this rivalry 62-47. Uh, uh, they lost a close one last week, a little upsetting, but – I think they'll bounce back this week and beat OU. Hook them horns. <laughs> Dre, Texas, Oklahoma. Uh, yeah, I'm going with Texas this week as well. Uh, even though they suffered a bad loss last week against unranked TCU, I just believe this guy's going to come back and bounce back and be aggressive. Um, I think Tom Hearn got these boys fired up. And uh, I just believe that, especially that running back, Keontae Ingram, who hasn't scored uh, a touchdown yet, I think he'll have a really good game rushing-wise. Um, and I just feel like uh, he's going to have a breakout game. Like I said, they haven't had a, a huge game yet, which they need really bad from him. But I think this game is going to – I think they're going to get – he's going to get one. I think he's going to play really well for them. So I'm going with Texas for this week. Uh, this week I'm going to go with Texas uh, – with, in the Texas-Oklahoma game. I'm going with Oklahoma uh, for two reasons. One, because Kevin picked Texas. So <laughs> clearly the opposite is going to happen. Um, and two uh, – Tom Herman, since his hiring at, at Texas, has the most losses as a ranked team. He has lost six games as a ranked team. He's going in this uh, into this matchup as a ranked uh, team against an unranked opponent, and he's, he's lost six times to an unranked opponent as a ranked team. So I think he's going to go in there. He's going to lose again um, uh, for the seventh time since he became the head coach at uh, Texas. So sorry, Oriana. Uh, I think you're going to suffer for another week. Um and plus, like, what is this about? Um, <laughs> uh, I think I want to get to victory. Uh, Sport Robbery Man is picking Texas uh, this week. So we'll see how everybody does. And we'll recap uh, in week five next week.